Hello, it's Day Morsair again, and today we have a, another gem series figure to review. This time it's another one from Hunter x Hunter. It's everyone's favorite psychopathic magician, Hisoka, which is um completely misspelled here um or maybe that's just how it's spelled in uh the language in the sh in the series I don't know but hiskoa whatever but in any case the box obviously has um various uh card symbols there in the window shapes <clears throat> but anyways here's the figure itself and just right off the bat I'll have to say this is a massive improvement over Kilua just massive improvement Excuse me. Um, if if you saw my Kilua review, you'd know I found it to be rather disappointing. Didn't really get the character right, but this one is just great, fantastic, really well done. But yeah, so just taking a look at it, his face is really well done really captures his character and he also comes with some other faces which we'll get to later but his hair is probably my favorite part of the figure it's really really nice just the sculpt of it and also the two-tone colors looks really cool but, yeah. And <clears throat> then, yeah. Other than that, you got these uh, shiny sort of bits here and there. And uh, nice work on his uh, fingernails. Long and pointy. And his uh, sash is a nice flow to it. Other than that, you know, it's a sort of standard pose, but it's, it works for this character. His shoes are nice and shiny. And, <clears throat> yeah. And also he's got his uh, cards here, which you can take out. Got a... Four of spades, three of hearts. Nothing particularly special about them. They fit in his hand quite easily, so no problems there. <clears throat> and then, yeah, taking a look at other accessories. He comes with another head with a different hairstyle, which I guess this is like from that scene after he got out of the shower which seems like a kind of a strange choice but whatever looks fine <clears throat> but yeah obviously I prefer his default ha hairstyle and actually it's just some um, Actually, I've never removed his head, so... Ah, there we go. Off it goes. We'll just put it on there and see what he looks like. <clears throat> so, there you go. There's that. And then, it wouldn't be a Hisoka figure without his creepy face. <laughs> creepy creepy stalker face 
yeah. So, um, actually, how do you take this off? I suppose it just pops off the back. It must. Or does it even come off? It should. I don't know. Uh, kind of suck if you can't. I don't think you can remove this hair. It 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 looks like it's glued on. You can kind of see it there. So that sucks. Huh. Oh well, I guess I just have to do it with this one. Well, anyways, let me just pop this off. That's kind of lame. You can't, uh, you can't do that. But oh well, what can you do? I guess. In any case, there you go, creepy stalker face. Doesn't look quite right with that hairstyle though, but oh well, whatever. So, yeah, just a look at the base. Stands pretty well without it. So here you got the base. Looks like a house of cards there. Says Hisoka. So pretty standard base. Pretty nice clear purple. Yep. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty much all there is to say about this one kinda sucks that you can't remove this hairstyle at least as far as I can tell it looks pretty set in there but anyways so this is Damor Sayer and see ya next time goodbye